YouTube intros are killing your watch time. Take it from someone who has had one, a long one, a 20 second one. Long channel intros can cause instant drops in viewer retention, which may limit your video's reach. That's because intros can be more harmful than good. You're probably watching this video right now because you're interested in creating an intro for your channel. Though not every channel needs one, they can still be effective. So today I'll be talking through the do's and don'ts of channel intros and showing you how to make one just like this. See how quick and short that intro was? Although it's short, it still does a few effective things. First, it creates a smooth transition between sections. A lot of times for my videos, I will create an exciting opener to let you know what the video is about and to entice you to keep watching. Then I will use this quick two second intro to transition into the main part of the video. The intro works well as a transition because it has sound effects to help cover up the audio. This allows me to change my audio track and my scene without it feeling abrupt. Secondly, it adds a level of clarity to the channel. You can use intros to bring an extra level of communication to new and returning viewers. This is where you need to take time up front to really think through what your channel is about. It should be the wording that is used across all of your different content. Think how you would answer when friends or family ask you what your channel is about. Try to come up with a few words to sum it up. For example, mine is content for creators. This signals that I am making content to help content creators. So if you are an aspiring content creator, you'll know that this is the right place for you. And if that is you, make sure to subscribe and like this video for more content. Then I simply put up my name and boom, you are now associating Ben Johnson as a resource for content creators. Now, not only do I have a nice transition element, but I also have good brand awareness and clear communication. Plus, if you do this the right way, it can actually do a third thing, which is increase your production value. I think that there's a certain level of you know, quality and care that goes into creating a short, succinct, and clear intro like this, and I think that the viewer can feel that through the content. It's like if you go to a new channel and there is no branding, they're not sure you know who they're talking to and they're sort of just all over the place. You as the viewer are gonna feel that. You're gonna feel like maybe you're not 100% confident in what they're telling you because it doesn't seem like they are. So taking this extra step of creating an intro is not only going to give you an intro, it's going to give you these dialed in insights to who your audience is and help you communicate it in a very clear way. This is going to translate to your content and it's going to be evident to your viewer if they're in the right place. To recap, intros are great for transitions, they bring clarity and they can level up your production value. Now, let's hop over to the editor and I'll show you how to make one. All right, we are here at the computer and today we'll be working in Final Cut Pro 10 because that is my video editor of choice. To accomplish this intro, we will be using one of my favorite go-to resources for editing, which is also the sponsor of today's video, Motion VFX. Motion VFX is an incredible platform offering tons of video animations for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, and now even Premiere Pro. They even offer packs from some of your favorite YouTubers. Using plugins like these can allow you to create higher quality animations faster. All of these effects are simply drag and drop and give you the flexibility to easily make them your own. They are now offering plugins for both DaVinci and Premiere Pro, which is super awesome. I've been using them for years, long before I started my YouTube channel, and I'm so excited to be partnering with them today on this video. Make sure to check them out at the link in the description below. And now let me show you how I made my intro. All right, as mentioned before, we are here inside of Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm gonna show you how to easily use these plugins to build out this little title sequence. So I'm gonna start by bringing in some footage. So what I'm gonna do is now go over to the titles and generators area. And this is where you'll be able to see any of the plugins that you have. 
And for this particular one, I'm using part of an effect from M Channel Modern, which is one of my favorite plugin packs from Motion VFX. I think it has a really cool look and a lot of useful tools for YouTubers. And what I'm going to do for this particular one, though, is use this intro seven. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this over top of the clip. So when I hit play, this is what the animation is doing. Right off the bat, you can see that there's a little logo drop zone. So you could easily drop your logo or you could choose that you just want to do text and you could say my channel. And from here, you can even go in and change the font to whatever you may want to do. Um, and you can further go in and change it even more, which is super nice. Um, you can change things like the colors. Uh, you can change the text down here, subscribe to my channel. In a few seconds, you have a nice little, you know, animated sequence that you could use as your opener. Now, this one's cool. And I like the way it starts because the thing I like about this effect is how it actually pulls those uh, black bars from the diagonal kind of over the footage. I love that. It's a nice little way to get into the text part of it. Um, but I don't love the text animation for my channel. I wanted something a little bit faster and a little simpler. So the cool thing about using these plugins is you can actually like mix and match them together. So because I like this first part where it's closing over the footage, I'm going to leave that, but I'm essentially going to hide a lot of the rest of this. So I'll just go up to the title and delete it. I'll scroll down to the elements on and off and I'm just going to uncheck it. So now all of those elements of it, which are this stuff, it's all gone. So we're just going to uncheck it. Um, and then we're going to delete the other text. And now basically we have this nice little transition that goes to black. This is perfect because now I can go find a different text effect that I like and I can bring that in instead. And so what I'm going to do is go into one of my favorite effect packs, which is M title hype. And I believe the one that I used for this particular sequence is 27. So I'm going to drag M title hype 27 onto the timeline, just on top of it. And now when I play it, it looks like this. This is great because now all I have to do is customize this. So instead of it saying challenger, I'm going to change this to be my phrase that which I decided on earlier, which is content for creators. Cool. That's looking great. And then let me just scroll ahead in the timeline. Instead of it saying new player, I'm going to say my name. So I'll do Ben and Johnson. And then I'm just going to change this text color to white but I actually want this to be even faster. So I'm just going to drag the top layer to start at the same time as the bottom layer. So now when I play it back, it's nice, really short, really snappy. And again, on this text effect, I'm gonna actually turn the animation out off uh, so that this just stays and doesn't build out. So I'm gonna leave a couple of seconds at the end of this just so it kind of stays on screen for a little bit of time. This way I can choose in any video how long I want it to stay. I always try to make it a little bit longer than I think so that way I can trim it down, you know, rather than having to somehow extend it out. So visually we're pretty much there, but the other side of this is the sound effects. So I'm gonna bring in a couple of sound effects to really sort of make this animation feel a little more alive and have a little more energy to it. So the way that the black bars kind of close in and the text starts, I think a nice little like whoosh sound would really bring a little bit of movement and energy to this. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little whoosh sound and we'll just play this right at the beginning and let's see what this is doing to it already. That's already nice. It feels really good. I like the way that feels, but the text then, over here starts to come in and it, it kind of slides up. So I think I want it, another quick whoosh. So let's use this little fast whoosh sound here. And because my channel is really geared around like content creation and filmmaking and photography and all of that stuff, I think I'm going to use a little camera shutter sound to kind of close it out. So I'll bring that in a, roughly around here. And that's a little late, so let's drag it back a little bit. I 
I like that a lot, but I think the thing it really needs is to have a little bit of a reverb at the end. So I'm actually going to select this sound effect and I'm going to go into my reverb effects and just drag that on and let's listen to what that sounds like. So now that I've built the sequence, I actually want to export it so I don't have to rebuild it every time in the videos. And I want to be able to maintain that transparency for the background, the way that the black bars sort of close over the footage. It's, it's really important to me that I maintain the transparent background so I can place it on top of footage and it will work. So in order to do that, I'm simply going to go up to file and share and export file. And then here I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to change the video codec to Apple ProRes 444. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure video and audio is selected and I'll go ahead and hit next and I'll give this a title. We'll say Ben Johnson creative title sequence. And we'll make a little folder here, call it exports and we'll save it out. So now when I apply this video clip on top of the footage, I should see a transparent background and it works just great. So now when I'm editing, I can simply bring in this video file. It's already transparent. It already has all of the sound effects and the title animations. Everything's good to go. And it makes my life really simple and gives a really cool, clean result. Intros like these work really well when paired with exciting openers for your videos. To learn how to instantly increase your watch time by hooking the viewer in the first few seconds, continue on to this video here. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.